Okay, we move to Tajweed. Tajweed. Uh, I think we have covered quite quite a lot on uh, in our Tajweed. So I'm just uh, not going to recap much. You can refer to our last two uh, session. We will go straight to. Last week we did mention about. Uh, oh yeah. Last week we mentioned about the sanat, right? Okay. So now we will, uh, we will still carry on. Okay. I think I believe you all have already uh, understand our sanat, shatibia. Go back to Imam House, right? Imam House. Go back to Imam Asim. Imam Asim. Go back to Abdul Rahman As Sulami. Abdul Rahman Al Sulami go back to Sayyidina Ali bin Abi Talib karamullah wajha and Sayyidina Ali bin Abi Talib again go definitely go back a sahaba only take their recitation from Rasulullah SAW so that is our sanad okay uh, it's, it's important for us to memorize sanad like 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 how important for you if can eh? if can for those who who are, who, who still a bit able to do it right how, how important for us to memorize our lineage our blood lineage bloodline uh, you, if if you are uh, if you are uh, if you are from uh, you are from uh, hadramaut okay what's your lineage all the way up to your great 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 grandfather uh, or even malay okay my lineage uh, tengku what or tengku 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 all the way where to the king of uh, from which province eh? Allah Alam. so it's important but nowadays it's not being emphasized and this tradition has long gone right so even even we ourselves yeah. I myself also we, we, we unable to trace our lineage because our forefathers have stopped that tradition but it's important it's really important very important because why it, it strengthened that it strengthened that that line of of origin same like Quran. What more Quran? You have to memorize your lineage or sanat of Quran. Right? We take we take our recitation from Imam Shatibi, go up to Imam House, Imam House go up to Imam Asim, Imam Asim go up to Abdul Rahman Sulami, Abdul Rahman Sulami go up to uh, Sayyidina Ali bin Abi Talib karamallahu wajha and go up to Rasulullah SAW. Then from there, every recitation will be blessed. You you know every every of your recitation will be blessed you will not it, 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 will, it will feel different because you have that conscious state where you understand that this this recitation is from the the proper lineage it means your guru also take the same lineage from his guru or your your, your ustaz or your teacher also take the same lineage from his previous teachers previous previous previous, previous all the way up so it's same so it's very important huh? So okay, uh, there's, there's, there are three articles in reciting the Quran. I mean, there, there are three pillars actually. Three pillars. That means that the pillars of reciting Quran. So the first one, we, ha we must recite the Quran with an authentic sanat, a chain of knowledge. And we have already, we already discussed on that. This is to recite the Quran from a teacher that is mutqin. Mutqin means excellent and careful with his teaching and approach and very wise where his recitation and sanat leads you all the way to Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam go back to uh, the hadith of Zaid bin Thabit said anna al-qira'ata sunnatan muttaba'ata that means verily recitation of the Quran is a sunnah that has to be followed so if you if you learn tajwid sunnah because is the this this ruling comes from our uh, from from the sahaba rasulullah sallallahu second okay second it must be this is where we stopped last, uh, last session it must be with the accordance of rasam uthmani last session we have mentioned uh, it, the term uthmani there's two there's two way for us to understand one is mushaf uthmani another one is the rasam uthmani mushaf uthmani is the quran that that the first the first six Quran that is been released or published by Sayyidina Osman bin Affan okay Rasa Mosmani is a simplified 
version or a more complete and simplified version of the writing of the Quran, uh, of the Quranic writings because the earlier 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 mushaf Uthmani the the writing is the ancient arabic writing is very hard for you to write, uh, sorry very hard for you to read no one can read except for scholars who understand that that, that approach no one can read because again there's no uh, I, I, I already mentioned in our session that you can refer to our session uh, uh, abu aswad abu aswad duali one of the scholars who come who, who comes after uh, sayna ali right the the the, the sahaba rasulullah sallam Right, uh, he is the one who introduced nukat ijam. Nukat ijam means what? Vowels. Initially, there's no vowels. There's no a, e, u, ban, bin, bun. No. So you read if you if you open up Mushaf Osmani is without vowels and without any uh, dotted lines. Zero. So how are you going to recite? So he's the he's the he's the he, he's the scholar who puffed that that, that 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 beginning stage for the next scholar who comes after him until Imam Muhammad Al Farahidi he completed the the Nuqa Ijam and it become Rasm Osmani. That's where we see in our Mushaf when we open all the vowels is look so natural and so nice right for us. It, that is that is Rasm Osmani. Okay, where you see a, a vowel of mud for you to prolong your your recitation, right? All that is rasa mosmani. Initial, initial stage during the, the mushaf osmani, there's no simplicity as that. No, right? So we should be thankful to our scholars. Eh? Again, if 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 someone were to say, oh, this is a this is a biggest innovation from our scholars. <laughs> the biggest innovation the sahabat did not do it right but the scholars after them do it right so it's permissible why uh, there's always there's always an approach it's permissible a biggest innovation of all not 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 uh, other part eh? we, we, we will not discuss like maulid or tahlil no the biggest innovation of all is rasa musmani because you, ra, ra, Rasulullah did not teach to sahabat Rasulullah never asked them uh, never asked the sahabat to, to to write in that manner because the, the way they write is the ancient Arabic writings right even the sahabat also did not ask the tabi'in to do it right but the tabi'in take the initiative to to take to take that role to take the responsibility so again it's an innovation one of the biggest innovation but is the most blessed Imagine every time you recite and you are able to recite all the great imams who 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 are involved in the project of Rasa Mosmani to complete that Rasa Mosmani as especially Imam Ahmad Al Farahidi, Imam Abu Aswad Al Duali, and Abu Qasim. All these great imam of the scholars of Quran. Every the millions and millions of people who recite Mushaf Mosmani with Rasa Mosmani, they get the they get the they get the pahala pahala in uh, good deeds they get the good deeds reward good reward imagine uh, subhanallah allah karim i mean may allah protect our recitation also inshallah okay so that is the recitation must be aligned with one of the mushaf versa musmani it must be aligned with with the rasa musmani if not you will not able to recite case study case study from the kirat of ibnu kathir again ibnu kathir is one of the great scholar of uh, sirah hadith he, he, he narrates a lot of hadith but his hadith are all been used for uh, where, he, where he compile in his kitab of the sirah of our prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam sirah means the history of our prophet and ibnu kathir has his own kirat in surah at taubah verse 100 wa adda lahum jannatin tajri tahtaha al anharu khalidina fiha abadan zalikal fawzul azim this okay there's a continuation eh there's actually this two page okay if you go back to the quran you all have the app right o open up the quran if you if you want if not in this kitab also we have 
Imam Ibn Kathir recites with adding the word min. Okay, recites with the word min. So if you see from your Quran, okay, between the word tajri and with the word tahtahal and the word tah tahtahal will be majrur in the lower case sign and you will be in the state of tahtihal ok <laughs> you all I think ok I cannot do this ok never mind so ok never mind you all open up the surah taubah ni Right, verse 100 Think you are refer from there is way better Then I can explain here What's the difference Between the normal recitation And Ibn Kathir This is the part where our scholar Differs in terms of the Arabic language And because of that It, se it separates and divides them to certain kiraats recitation. Certain recitation is without mean. Certain recitation is with mean. Uh, sometimes you, you you might you might uh, think, eh, hey, this imam is wrong. No, depends if the imam is practicing the the kiraat from a different imam, right? From a different school. I mean, from from for us we we follow imam house, right? Imam house, imam asim. If I say he, he, if we follow ibnu kathir, imam ibnu kathir. Right, you cannot, you cannot, uh, how say, salah kan dia, means what? Cannot blame him, uh, cannot fault him, right? Because he 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 follow that kiraat, that way of recitation, okay? So okay, in the Quran, what is his state? Wa adda lahum jannatin tajri min, no min, right? Uh, so it's tah tahal. Follow the rasa Muslimani is tah tahal. The earlier one, see? This is the earlier one. Is without, is without the min. Here, is with the min. Imam Ibn Kathir, he recite with min tah, min tah tihal anharu. Okay, what's the difference? In terms of uh, Arabic grammar, if you, if you include the min, min means from. Tahtihal means under And tahtihal anhar Below, below it flows the river Okay I, I will not go back I, I will not touch on the uh, Translation uh, Or even the trans, uh, or, or even the tafsir of this ayat I'm just going to refer why it's uh, the, the the vowels different And it's without mean and with mean I'm just going to discuss on that So mean means from It's a preposition as what we have learned from Our uh, Arab, uh, Arabic session Okay It's a preposition Anything comes after mean It has to be In the lower case In the lower In the lower See Lower uh, Vowels So If it's without mean If it's without mean Example Example lah Without mean This will be Tahtahal وَعَدَّ لَهُمْ جَنَّاتٍ تَجْرِي تَحْتَهَا الْأَنْهَارُ خَالِدِينَ فِيهَا Understand? Understand? Like, likewise, like how you see in your Mus'haf Uthmani In Mus'haf Uthmani Sorry, in Mus'haf Rasa Mus'mani There is Rasa Mus'mani eh? Mus'haf Rasa Mus'mani Right? It, it is written as تَحْتَهَال Tahtahal Correct? Uh, so Why Tahtahal? Because it's the original state And why this Become I cancel lah eh? I cannot Okay Why this become Mean uh, Why this become uh, Tahtihal Why does it become Tahtihal here? It's because of this mean Anything Anything comes after mean The noun Or any word that come after mean Have to be Uh, ah yeah, ya kasrah has to be at the lower lower vowels. Understand? So that is the approach of Ibn Kathir, okay? Attention. 
dissertation with me is according with the Mushaf Osmani from the Mushaf Maki, one of the six Mushaf Osmani. Okay, and also dissertation without me also according with the rest of the Mushaf Osmani. See, there's a there's a great wisdom during the time of uh, Sayyid Osman bin Affan. He distributed six Mushaf. Right, when he distributed six Mushaf, it shows that all that six Mushaf have different, not say different way of recitation. Until it's so drastic, until it can uh, contradicts the meaning. Until it, had, it, it differs the meaning. No, the meaning is still the same. Only the way is being recited. Okay, when we say about uh, the difference between Ibn Kathir, min tahtihal and tahtahal, does it have a a, a drastic meaning? Uh, of uh, of uh, 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 does it oppose a, a, a meaning that is so drastic? No. The meaning still stay, stay, stay still stay the same, right? It's just it's just the format of the Arabic grammar only. Okay, here, wa'adalahum jannatin tajri tahtahal. If you translate, okay, <coughs> and Allah has very prepared for them, right? The heavens. That flows below them. Okay, Be this tahta tahta means below. Okay, I I translate I translate word by word. Eh? And Allah have uh, prepared for them lahum means for, for them uh, heavens that flows tajri means flows that that flows below them rivers anhar rivers khalidi nafiha that. That that's that that uh, Khalidia kekal kekal in English how is it? Uh, ke, uh, ke, uh, eternity yeah. that means no kekal not eternity no kekal 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 means uh, stays uh, stays uh, where you stay in it eternally Khalidina fiha abada man you stay in it eternally right so tahtahal means what right. وَعَدَّ لَهُمْ جَنَّاتٍ تَجْرِ تَحْتَهَلْ And Allah has prepared for them Heavens that flows uh, Below them rivers Below them rivers Below it rivers Okay Okay, what's the difference between here? وَعَدَّ لَهُمْ جَنَّاتٍ تَجْرِ مِنْ تَحْتِهَا الْأَنْهَارُ خَالِدِينَ فِيهَا So again, I translate word by word again the same And Allah has prepared for them uh, Heavens that flows from below them if you say mean means from right from below them or from below it below it means go back to the heavens right rivers same it's the same see doesn't make any difference the meaning even if you include the word from or exclude the word from see yeah again Allah Allah uh, uh, prepares for them heavens that flows below them flows below them rivers Imam Ibn Kathir recite with me Allah prepare for them heavens from below it below them from that means same D does it oppose any meaning? no even if you put the mean there or without the mean there the meaning still has a concrete way of meaning that Allah want people to understand but only the recitation is different because why? again when we talk when we said that the recitation is different because Rasulullah when he he teach the Sahaba they, they possess Rasulullah passed down different way of recitation right? we already discussed we already discussed that Imam, Imam Asim have two great student one is Imam Hafs where we take our Sanat, we take our chain of knowledge from another another great student is Imam Shu'ba. Both of them take the, from the same guru, but for and but when they recite, they recite differently. So again, because it's a it's, it's a form of kiraat, right? they have a different uh, way of uh, recitation. Eh? But you cannot anyhow recite on your own, eh? like you say you. <laughs> Oh, I, uh, today I want to I want to include min. Uh, today I want to exclude min. Again, 
in in our in in our uh, Quran in our uh, Mushaf Osmani Rasa Osmani Mushaf Rasa Osmani there are also verses similar like this with mean only for surah at-taubah is without mean for 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 our recitation but for other verses is with mean is with mean okay and you cannot say oh okay i i don't want to recite with, without mean you cannot anyhow <laughs> exclude that lah you cannot anyhow eliminate the the huruf min uh, no no don't don't pandai pandai ah this is this one is serious matter and only recite what you what you have learned there right things that you learn from other kirat is without your without your field of expertise zone ah don't, don't don't try okay uh, you will contradict attention okay this one uh, we, we discuss ini okay the third one it has to be aligned with a term from the rulings of nahu nahu is arabic grammar so again there's three three pillars here for you to recite quran and for allah to validate your quran recitation one is with sanad you must have a chain of knowledge okay second it must come from yes uh, uh, what uh can you mention what sorry i rasa musmani it must be in with accordance of rasa musmani musaf musmani is one one perspective the, the second it must be with the accordance of rasa musmani the third one right last but not least the third one it has to be aligned with the arabic nahu arabic grammar okay that is recitation have to abide arabic grammar nahu below is an example of the difference in recitation due to the influence of arabic grammar okay we okay you all uh, open up surah an-nisa verse 1 this verse no i think it's wrong not verse 1 typo again let me find what's the verse verse 1 ah okay sorry okay okay that that is that is recitation okay this uh, surah anisa verse 1 so we have two approach here you see okay we have wattaqullaha allazi tasa'aluna bihi wal arhama okay imam hamza recite the mim on the word al arham wal arham with a kasrah right which is wal arhami so the second the second verse is recited by imam hamza another another scholar of the qirat uh, imam hamza recite with wattaqullaha allazi tasa'aluna bihi wal arhami correct not in in our in our mushaf rasa musmani is mentioned as wal arha ma okay but imam hamza he recite as wal arhami okay what's the difference here what's the difference okay when we said that it has a arabic grammar influence here arabic grammar influence when we say that is wal arha ma this is in the uh fatha bawal fatha bawal so this wattaqullaha allazi tasa'aluna bihi wal arhama so this is in the state of mansub mansub in the terms of arabic na, uh, nahu is in the fatha state so i don't want to elaborate further on the on the arabic grammar right so because we haven't reach we haven't really we haven't really fly or really walk properly in our basic arabic so we don't want to get ourselves confused there but be, be, it, it, it is the influence due to the cause of uh, the arabic grammar here that's why imam hamza and the the other uh, reciters they differs so imam hamza he recite as wal arhami so because of this wow you see here wow This wow this call is wow ataf. Wow ataf means wow that succeed the sentence before. Wow ataf means wow that succeeds the sentence before. So 
there's a ruling also for this one atof if it succeed the sentence before it, it must follow the vowels of the sentence before too okay so here you see okay here you see here okay we, we don't look here we we, we look here we, we we see the huruf or preposition ba b and then we will domir ha bihi okay we, we we just learn about domir attach dom, attach pronouns right so this is one of the thing that we going to learn in our arabic session inshallah so bihi means with him with it or with him okay so bihi so anything that come after anything that comes after the preposition of huruf jar it must be in the lower lower vowels kasra vowels right the, in, in the vowels of kasra when when it comes wow this wow is wow ataf wow wow that succeed a uh, wow that yeah wow that succeed the sentence before and it has to follow the ruling before it so again before bihi means really you have the lower vowels right so wal arhami the mim also have to follow the lower vowels but for this case it doesn't follow bihi it follow the one that is before again i don't want to confuse you all <laughs> later we go right you never come back uh, that's why i scared we go you never come back <laughs> so i'm just trying to say this is the reason why it differs in the influence state right it differs because of the arabic grammar okay wallahu a'lam i think we stop here inshallah next session we will we will we will discuss on the meaning of uh, on the part there's four levels for us to recite the quran right which is tartil tahqiq tadwir and uh, and hadar okay we have four levels of recitation of of uh, to recite the quran when you say four levels of recite the quran that means four different four different speed and four different quality of, of approach so you have to know you are at from which which level you cannot say oh uh, uh, yeah, i i'm a level of like uh, a qari right <laughs> but you don't you don't possess that quality you don't possess that quality but you say oh i want to recite like the qari i want i want to recite like uh, imam sudais i want to recite like imam mishari rashid but you don't you 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 don't possess the skill so you are not in that level you are not in that level so you can you, you can't recite like them so you have to you have to choose your level you not say choose a level you have to know where is your level so there's four different level inshallah uh, the next session we will we will elaborate further on that in detail inshallah okay so far